great leaders have something that others don't and there are specific things that uh, can fascinate you. Today I would like to present you three of these great business leaders that have impressed me a lot and I'd also like to share with you what I've learned from them. My name is Armin Rao, I'm the founder of Alan and Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur and I've been a leader, coach and entrepreneur for 20 years now and today's lesson is about what we can learn from great business leaders. If you don't want to miss any video on leadership for entrepreneurs, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the button below uh, this video and uh, you will not miss any of my tips, tricks, tools and methods that I share with you on great leadership for entrepreneurs. The first great business leader that impressed me or impresses me is Warren Buffett and the slogan here could be routine. The leitmotif that I'd like to give to you is routine. Now, I listen to uh, Buffett's biography. Uh, I always listen to, to audiobooks when I'm jogging and <laughs> Warren's biography. This is hours and hours and hours, so that was a lot of running, you know, to get through that one. But it, w it was worth the time and worth the running. So it was really good. And what can I, what can you, what, what did I learn from him? Well, the first one is um, that, uh, you know, uh, the sim to apply simple concepts. Like for example, when he was, when he was a little boy, he already started um, buying co uh, Coca-Cola, Coke bottles, but bottles, you know, Coke, and uh, Coca-Cola, Coke, and uh, he uh, sold it for a little bit more at the beach than he bought it, you know, just, very simple principle uh, applied that you know he just bought for less money than he sold one of um, central of the central entrepreneurial principles really uh, that we have to keep in mind the second more sophisticated idea that I'm a big fan of is the creation of platforms which will then produce revenues for you so what he did he installed an old flipper you know these flipper uh, flipper uh, machines um, at uh, the local barber shop and uh, he made a deal with the barber uh, and he said listen can I can I put this flipper here into your uh, shop and uh, your customers they can play flipper uh, whilst waiting for the service and what we're going to do we're going to share the revenues of this service very very astute idea for a young man and this uh, is the idea of installing a platform that creates the so-called passive income. That's unbelievably important in entrepreneurship. And number three is what I talked about before, which is uh, for me actually the hardest bit, it's routine because I like, ch uh, maybe you are the same, I like change and new challenges and all that. But the thing is, if you don't have routine, if you don't do the same things over and over and over again, the boring stuff, it's, it's very difficult to become successful as a leader and as an entrepreneur. So. Buffett always had the same routine, would go to his desk in the morning, he wouldn't use a PC uh, until the late 80s, I think, and just, you know, go through his numbers, go through uh, the papers, go through the reports, and then make his investment uh, decisions. Oh, by the way, I don't know, for those who have not, not heard about Warren Buffett, greatest investors of all time, I think at, the, at this uh, time, the second or third richest man in the world, some 88 years old or so right now and yeah that's what you can learn from Warren Buffett um, the platform thing um, simple business concepts and uh, the concept of routine the second great leader that I learned from was Lou Gerstner for those of you who haven't heard about Lou Gerstner Lou Gerstner took over IBM the biggest computer company in the world in these days I think in 1994 and IBM was in a situation where they were making four billion dollars of losses at that time. Unbelievable. I mean, most companies in the world don't make that much revenues, you know. Um, and IBM was really, in quotes, you know, capable of producing uh, four billion of dollars of losses. So, Lou Gerstner, here I'd like to um, I'd like to coin his style of leadership with the term empathy. Now the first thing about Lou Gerstner was he took over IBM uh, in a crisis, in a crisis mode. So he knew that in a crisis you have to act, you have, you have to produce quick wins, you have to go you know, out of the crisis. It's more about firefighting. 
and I uh, really liked the story about journalists uh, asking Gerstner all the time when he took over IBM and even weeks and months after he had taken over the company what his vision was and you know I talked a lot about vision and how important it is but Gerstner said the last thing I need right now is a vision and he was completely right because the only vision was you know reduce the losses um, stop the bleeding and do something and, and get the business profitable ASAP so you can learn that in a crisis you have to act. The second thing that you can learn from Gerstner is to see the, cust uh, the business from the customer's perspective. He actually was not a computer man, but he came from um, American Tobacco or whatever that, that company was named. He also worked for American Express before and he had always been an IBM customer but never run a computer company. But he knew exactly what the customers would like because he was a customer before. So empathy, seeing the things from your customer's perspective, very, very important leadership trait that you can learn here. And number three was to use your current strengths as a basis for the future. What Gerstner did, he actually bought back the computers and released them to his customers in a, uh, based on service contracts, which again produced reliable and repetitive revenues. And that is obviously a very, very astute way of um, going into the future. So three things from Lou Gerstner. First of all, act when you are in the crisis mode. Secondly, um, what was it again? Yeah, see the business from the customer's perspective. This is why I coined this part of my video empathy. And number three, um, to use your own strength uh, and uh, to, to use uh, uh, the strength that you currently have to change your business model uh, for future success. Business leader number three is Richard Branson. I have recently read his uh, uh, autobiography and this is just fantastic. For those who don't know Richard Branson, he's the founder of Virgin, uh, which was a music, which it probably is still a music label, I don't know, was a music label in the old days when there were still um, uh, records and, and later on uh, CDs. And uh, now then he, he, had, uh, uh, he had an airline and, 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 and a train service and he runs, uh, he runs fitness studios and mobile phone service and all that, all under the Virgin brand. So what can you learn from Richard Branson? And if you haven't read it yet, please, please read his autobiography. I think the first version was called, it's called it is definitely called Losing My Virginity. I think the follow on uh, one is called Finding My Virginity. Unbelievable. It's like an adventure book by Jules Verne, but the, the, the difference is that it's all true, it's not fiction, so it's really good. And well, what are the three things? First of all, spot opportunities where customers can be served better, cheaper or faster. This is what he did in his business businesses. So even in established markets, you can always find possibilities of serving customers cheaper, faster and or better. Secondly, go step by step. You know, for example, in his record business, he started with one cash cow, Mike Oldfield, in the old days, a musician, and then he built the business step by step. Don't start 100 things at a time. Go in baby steps. And number three, he built a brand, and once you've got this brand around the brand, you can actually position around the brand various applications as he did. So what can we learn from these great business leaders? Success is a consequence of routine, empathy and simplicity. Routine, empathy, simplicity. If you only got these three words in your business, think of them, that's really very, very important. Routine, empathy, simplicity. And apply these principles and you will be even more successful. The life coaching teaches you the uh, skills, knowledge, motivation of the greatest leaders in the world within weeks. So if you don't want to miss any of these videos, click on the button below. I will also take part actively in the discussions, so please feel free to leave a comment. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget, lead yourself.